<laughs> you feel trapped because God led you there. You feel stuck because God led you there. Well, why would God do that? Because God did the same thing to Jesus. The Bible says after he was baptized, he came up out of the water. And the Bible says that the Holy Spirit led him into the, into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Who led him there? The Spirit of God. And so you're faced with a Red Sea. An impossible situation. Something that makes you feel afraid. Something that makes you feel trapped that you can't get out of. But I want you to know, you serve the God woo, that's in control of every Red Sea in your life. And that you are never trapped. You are never stuck. You will propel and you will progress forward in this year. Somebody give him praise and glory. I, I'm speaking life into you. I'm speaking purpose over you. I know what it feels like to feel stuck on a step and feel trapped like you can't get out. But I also know what it feels like when God delivers you and you see his hand reach down and snatch you out of whatever it is that you're faced with. You understand? Life, life is hard. Life can be difficult. There's things that you can't always explain. There's things that happen to you that you don't always understand. But be still and know that he is God. There's a, re a, a revealing that God wants to do in the moment that you are in right now. You have to be prepared for the attack of your enemy because the adversary is not going to let you rest. And he's not just going to let you go without trying to get you back. I'm going to show you in a moment. And so they, were, they went out armed for battle. This is why the scripture tells us that we are to be sober minded, that we ought to be vigilant because your adversary, your enemy walketh about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. This is why the Bible says that, that, that you ought to always pray, glory to God, that you do not fall into temptation. Why? Because the adversary is after your life. And when your life is hid in Christ, he can't find you. Do you hear me? He can't find you. That's why it's better for you to get in God and stay in God because the adversary is looking for every opportunity to snatch the very life out of you. But he can't find you if you're hidden in Christ. And God is not for you giving up. And God doesn't want you to give up. You hear me? And God doesn't want you to give up. Do you hear me? God doesn't want you to give up. I don't care what it looks like. Now is not the time to throw in the towel. I know it's rough, but hear me. Before things get better, sometimes it gets worse. And God is going to use that thing to propel you into the thing that he has for you. It might not look good now, but it is good. <laughs> Do you hear me? It might not look good now, mother, but it is good. For God worketh all things together for the good of them that love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. It might not look good, but it is good. There is a time and a season for whatever is holding you. Whatever is blocking you, whatever is stopping you, whatever has its grip on you, there's a time for that thing to let you go. <laughs> Y'all hear me? There's a time and there's a season for that thing to let you go. And I'm just going to be bold right now to declare that today is that day and that season for that thing to let you, somebody shall go. go. Let you go. Let you go. God says, listen, what I deliver you from, you will never have to go through it again. Let me throw this, let me throw this clause in there. 
unless you make it come again. <laughs>